It's Christmas time again, and there's excitement in the shopping centres and in the community. I pray that each one of you have a holy and blessed Christmas, and if you're travelling, please travel safely. It's so easy to think of the Christmas story as a nice, simple little account. But when we explore the details of the Christmas message, it's far from simple, and it was not easy for Mary or Joseph. However, Mary and Joseph rose to the challenges that presented them. We too can rise to the challenges that face us day by day. The difference is, as Christians, we face our challenges with Christ. There are many challenges in the world today, but one of them is peace. In this centenary year of Anzac, and with the First World War being the war to end all wars, sadly, we still have wars. There are a number of refugees continuing to grow across the world. The drought is biting hard and many of our people are struggling. People are losing their jobs, while there are others at the moment who face a great deal of uncertainty. Mary and Joseph had to face uncertainty. They had to travel because of a census. They could not find a place to stay. So they made the best of a stable with all its animal smells. Jesus also had an animal feeding trough for his bed and his mattress was rough straw. Despite the uncertainty Mary and Joseph had to address, the joy is that Jesus came among us to give us peace, peace between ourselves, peace within ourselves and peace in the world. So at this Christmas, may we give thanks and place our hope and trust in the one who came among us and does and can change our lives, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ himself.